Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and today we are going to do a multitude of things. We're going to be counting my um, sinking funds. We are going to be tracking our debt and um, I got these worksheets from my friend Marlene. So I'm so excited. Let's just get right into it. I've never done this with you guys because I'm not sure why, <laughs> but um, we're going to go over the debt that I have and also count my sinking funds and my friend Marlene over at her channel. Her channel is wonderful. I have learned so much from her. She's so organized just with her weekly check-ins, her sinking funds, everything. She's amazing. Go check her out at Snow Gardener. 307 and she had these worksheets that she made herself and I went ahead and purchased them they're not expensive at all and also she um it's you know nice to support a YouTube friend and these were exactly what I needed so she got a debt um snowball monthly check-in which is great I'm going to start that today um another one but it's quite different format which I also want to do and then a um, sinking funds check-in. It says mid-month, but I'm just going to go ahead and put all my sinking funds and put all the balances and just use it as a regular check-in. So with that being said, let's first get started with, um, let's go first get started with these, which these are some debt trackers that I got for free. Um, these are from Debt Free Charts. I'm sure you have seen these two before this is for our truck loan and it says car loan on here but it's fine and then i got my student loan now i got these other ones which i absolutely love um and i also got these free i just had to subscribe to her like monthly like newsletter um it's how do the jones do it.com um, you can find her on Pinterest. That's how I found these. And this is for emergency funds, six month expenses, and then mortgage. So these are um, three other ones that I wanted to get started today. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. I have here also just my debt and my goals and also I have my challenges there so I can start tracking um, kind of my sinking funds. Um, I'm also kind of using this as the sinking funds to also track my savings as well. So I wanted to go over with you guys um, the debt that I have now that does not include my mortgage. So a lot of you might have or might wonder what I'm planning to do with my 10 grand challenge and my 5 grand challenge. So I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know. So in... Um, Last year was when we, well, let me just go ahead and just do it the way I had formatted here. So um, we had three main deaths, and this last one is just only mine. Um, we purchased a Honda Civic in October 2019, and we actually paid that in full last year in December. Um, so that's the amount of debt that we paid off between 2019 and December 2020. Then we have our RAM, which we purchased May of 2019. Um, this was the amount that we took out, and this is the amount paid on it from then to now. And this is the remaining balance. Now, my student loans, I have here that this is the amount that I had at the end of December 2017. And this is the amount paid on it. And this is the remaining amount. So I have um, really just been doing the minimum payments on there because I just did not have the best experience in college. And I'm not sure with you guys, let me know, is there a debt that just lingers around that you're kind of avoiding, but you're paying, but just thinking about it makes you just feel some type of way. It just, I don't know. It's just 
bring it just makes me feel a certain type of way but um, these are my goals to be done with my savings challenges so god willing because you know we do not know what's going to go on um god willing in um december the ram will be paid off using the 10 um grand savings challenge now, after we get that paid off, we are going to have this amount left over from a challenge, and then we're going to have our 100 envelope challenge of that amount. That equals this total. So what that means is that um, I'm going to be able to put um, this amount towards student loans. So once I do that towards student loans, this is the amount that approximately, that's what the little line is for, approximately that is the amount that I'm going to still owe my student loans at the end of the year, minus the amount that I'll have left over from uh, my savings challenges. This will be the remaining balance at the end of December. That is what I'm planning to do with my student loans. Just in case you guys were wondering, um, that is the goal. So, with that being said, um, I also wanted to share with you guys, and excuse all this other gibberish, I was just ha having a brain dump on here, but you might say, well, how are, have you been paying your debt? Well, ironically, the way that my debt lined up, it's actually using both methods at once, or two methods at once. It's using it's using the avalanche method, but also the Dave Ramsey method, snowball, the snowball method, because our smallest debt was our highest interest. So I was we were paying off the highest interest loan that was the smallest loan. So we got the Honda paid. Now the second highest interest is the Ram. And that's the was our second least, or I guess the second highest loan amount that we had. And then the smallest interest rate that we had is on our largest <laughs> um, loan. So that is how that worked out for us, ironically. But I think that even if I had... Um, let's say I had a higher interest rate on my student loans or something else, I think I would still go ahead and pay off the smallest amount first, the smallest loan first, just in my opinion, um, just because it helps you out with morale, in my opinion, um, and helps you keep going. So I would, uh, I think I might color these in with you guys. I don't know. What do you think? Are you guys up for that? So we started with the balance on the car loans, and I do have a clipboard over here. So if I started coloring, I could start doing this. That way I don't bleed through the other pages. I'll just set these aside. So we started with this car loan with this car loan debt, oops, sorry you guys, I hit the table, at two, three, eight, one, six, forty, six. And we are now at the balance of 13,662. So this is the amount this is the amount paid. So I'm just gonna subtract this by, uh, divide that by 50 so I know how much each line would approximately be. Okay, you guys, so it's approximately 476 and I'm rounding down per line. So this is the amount we paid off. So then I'm just going to divide this by that amount. Okay, you guys, so I'm able to color in about 21 lines. So, okay you guys, so I'm about right here. So I'm going to go get some markers that way we can go ahead and color that in. Okay you guys, I'm a big fan of purple, so I think I'm going to go ahead and just use these three colors. 
and go ahead and color this in real quick. All right, you guys, so we got that colored in. I accidentally colored one more in there, but that's okay. So we got that one out of the way. Awesome, that feels so good having that right there. Okay, next is our student loan. So again, we know that each is, there's 50, there's 50 boxes in here. And we started with two, come on, pen, two, two, seven, four, five. Now we're just going to divide this number by its amount of boxes. So about four. Four, five, four is each box. So now I'm just going to see the amount that we have paid and divide it by that. Okay, you guys, so it looks like I can do a close to five. So I'm just go, going to go ahead and do five because that's pretty close. So five lines I'm going to color. I'm going to choose some different colors just so it won't be purple like the car one. I'll be right back. I really like the way this turned out, so I'm going to do the same, but with these three different blues. So, just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, you guys, so this one is finished as well. Woohoo! Alright, I love how that looks. I love the three colors. Okay. Anyways. Alright, so next, this one I can't color in quite yet. And I'm not sure how many lines are in here, but I'm pretty sure there's a hundred lines. Let me go ahead and count this and then um, I'll let you guys know. Okay, you guys, there is a hundred. There's a hundred lines. Now, our mortgage amount, loan amount is, I have it right over here. Okay, I already knew what it was on the top of my head, but I just wanted to make sure, so now, this might scare you guys. <laughs> Our starting balance is $375,000. Now, remember we live in a metro area, um, a very popular one, and it's a miracle really that we were able, even able to find a home within our budget, like an actual house. Um, and even then, as you guys saw, it was a smaller home and an older home. So it's a miracle that we were able to find a home because everything within this price range was only townhomes or apartments, like condos, um, for, the amount, for the same square footage as this house. So we know that in a couple of years, um, if we would have had to wait, we for sure would not be in that, um, in that per I guess, in that, yeah, percentage that could, per who could buy a home. We'd probably have to get stuck with renting or um, buying an apartment, which, I mean, I'm not sure how I'd feel about that because I already felt some type of way even thinking that we were going to have to buy an apartment. This, when we were doing our home search because um, it's, you know, it's pretty insane that you'd buy it. But anyways, we love the area that we live in. There's so much stuff to do. It fits our lifestyle. We really are comfortable here. Um, with COVID and everything, there's like kind of not that much things to do, but when hopefully kind of the restrictions um, are, you know, less and we know how to do everything the safe way, it's so much fun and I love it here. This this place has been so good to me. I love living here. 
I will never want to move. Okay, so this is the amount and um, the goal is a date. The goal for me is um, um, paid in, I want to say less than 20 years. Let me know you guys, you guys who have already been on this mortgage journey. After this year, after my 10 grand challenge, God willing, if I'm able to do the 10 grand challenge, I'm thinking that I'm going to be doing that 10 grand challenge from now on. And at the end of the year, just put that lump sum into um, our principal um, payment to our home. And I already did the calculations. That's about four and a half extra payments. So let me know, do you guys think I should do the 10 grand challenge and put that lump sum at the end of the year or I should be putting in a little bit each month towards the principal? Let me know your thoughts about that. So this one's done because I have not made a payment yet, but this is what this one looks like. Okay, next is our emergency fund. And my goal for this is uh, 5,000 and my goal is by January 2022 now we already got a good amount in there and I know that this is a hundred as well we have um, three grand in our emergency fund so we can go up, and this is by 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Um, let's see. There's a hundred boxes in here. And so that just means, and my goal is 5,000. So $50 in each. Yeah, so I can do 60, up to 60. So 5, 10, or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So up to this line, I can color in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And um, I think I'm gonna do this in green. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna do the same method because I liked it. Or actually, I can't do that same method. Hmm. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what I come up with as I'm coloring these in. Okay, you guys. Now this one is done as well. Awesome. So I do have this other one. But we're not going to get started on this one because I'm trying to start my emergency, get my emergency funded um, before I start this one. But I wanted to show you this one as well because I thought it was cute and also put my goal. So after I get my emergency fund funded for this $5,000 amount, um, I want to start, I want to have two separate ones. So I want to have emergency fund and I want to have six months expenses. Um, now I'm thinking, you know, obviously as soon as I get three months, that'd be perfect. Even if I had one month, that'd be amazing. So for six months, I'm going to give myself just a little bit more time. So I'm going to say by, um, let's just say January, um, let's say 23. Oh, and I was supposed to put it over there, but that's fine. Um, cool. Oh, I guess we already know the goal is to have that funded by that time. So I wanted to show you this, this one and just let you know where I'm at. So after I get this one, everything I was putting into this, I'm going to put into the six month expenses. And that is my goal. And then we'll get started with this once I start making my payments. And then you guys saw this and then my cart loan. Perfect. So next, what I wanted to do, you guys, is count my sinking funds, and um, oh, and I also wanted to do this as well. I guess since we're already talking about debt, let's go ahead and get this started. Again, this says monthly check-in, um, 
Oh yeah, that's correct. That's right. Monthly check-in. So we know, and where is my sheet? Here we go. There we go. So we know, um, what kind of marker should I use? I guess I'll just use this. This is fine. Okay, so we know that we have um, our RAM payment. I actually like not putting the vehicle name. I actually like, oh, goodness, you guys, my, yeah, that's not going to work. My, and it's not this page, you guys. It's this. My erasable pen, it's just going out on me, and it's so sad. It's really making me really sad. Let me go get a marker. Okay, you guys. My erasable pen is just going out, and oh, it's so sad. Okay, so we have, look at the mess <laughs> from coloring. Okay, so we have our truck payment, and that's um, through our Golden Plains account. And today is, oh, sorry, you guys, I had an itch. Today's the 9th. And our starting balance this month is thirteen six six two twenty one 21 cents. And we are going to be putting six hundred. That is coming out soon. And um, let's just go ahead and update this. That payment's automatic. So we'll have approximately 13.02.221 at the end of this week. And then we have our student loans, which that is, um, what is that called? Um, goodness gracious, I'm going to, to lose my mind. Oh, yeah. It's our Great Lakes, and our starting balance, or I guess, yeah, for this month. Okay, minus 150. We should be at approximately 39411. And again, this will probably be updated next month, or I'll just put a line right here as we go through um, to the next month. Because, of course, with interest and all that. But this is just assuming, so this just gives us a, this is just approximately, so this at least makes us put it down. And that is why I love these sheets. That way we can put it down and we can see it. And, you know, it feel tangible. And then next is, um, oh, our mortgage. Oh, actually, you guys, I was going to write a mortgage here, but we're not doing a payment yet. So I'm just going to cross this out. Okay, so that will start. Um, we can start doing this using this spreadsheet. And because my erasable pin has gone out, I'm thinking about getting some white out instead. So, and you guys, if you guys are new to my channel, I'm okay with making mistakes. My pages don't need to be perfect. And also saves on ink. <laughs> so this can actually go right in front of here. Perfect. Isn't that so pretty? I love the color she chose. And it's big enough so you can write in. It's awesome. Okay, so next what I wanted to do was count our sinking funds. I'll update this um, in the beginning of next month. Because we'll have the actual ending balance with interest. Okay. So, oh, and I wanted to show you that, you guys that. So it's awesome. So actually, I think I could um, do a little bit on here. Now thinking about it, now that I see it. So we have our debt names. So we got here our Oh, we got our Golden Plains, which is our truck. We have our Great Lakes student loans. 
and today's month is April. Okay. Okay, starting balance. And then we have our starting balance for our student loans. Okay, and I do have the interest rate and all that in the other paper that I showed you guys earlier, I believe. Let me just grab it real quick. Here we go. Okay. So, oh, payment or interest. Hmm. Hmm. Marlene, if you're watching this, what do you mean by payment or interest? Let me know. I thought that we were going to put our interest. Um, hmm. I thought we were going to put our interest right here. Actually, Marlene, now that I'm here, let me know if you can do this or you can do this for me. But I would love it. I would love it if you did something like this for me, where you kind of see that I kind of made this for myself and then it kind of fell off. But if you could... Do something, you almost have it, you almost have it. If you could do like, maybe like just a small chunk right here that shows the interest rate and, or even if you didn't have to put the interest rate, if you made two separate columns about how much, that would say how much amount was paid to interest and how much amount was paid to your principal. Um, that would be amazing. That would be helpful. Because usually for me, um, it kind of stays the same, but I would like to actually write it down. And that'd be good to note for myself. So let me know. Also, let me know what you mean by payment or interest, because maybe the way that you're doing it um, makes more sense. And I'm sorry if you have already said it, because I have been... Um, you know, with all this moving and stuff, I'm just now um, keeping up with your videos. So if you did explain that, l l let me know which video in the comments. And then also, um, if you didn't, please let me know in the comments. That way I know. Okay, so now I don't, so I'm going to wait for Marlene, our friend Marlene to tell me what she means by this. Um, and... I like how she has the payoff date for for debt one, but debt two, and then she has debt payoff order. So we have. I am going to do it this way. So I'm doing the golden planes first, and the Great Lakes second. So the the payoff goal date is. December 21 and December 22. All right, so at least we got that set up so we know what that is like. And I'm going to set this aside now. So, I also love this. I love, guys, you guys know I love color. If you didn't know, now you know I love color. I love that those are nice and bright. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to do this sinking funds check-in. So, I have created an Excel sheet over here a while ago. And it definitely needs updated, and it just has all our sinking funds in here. So, I'm just going to list all the sinking funds that we have here because I need to count and I need to know what we have in each. So let me go ahead and just, sorry you guys, shook the table, going to ahead and just add those here. All right, you guys, so we know what we have for emergency fund already that hasn't gone up yet. So we have 3,000 in there, that's electronically. 
Now we're just going to do our envelope challenges and we're going to count them up because they are sealed. So this is the only way I have been tracking them is just by recounting this. So let's go ahead and just add all these up for 10 grand and see how much we have saved for the 10 grand this far. Okay, you guys, I could not believe it and I had to do it twice, but we, this is the amount we have so far in 10 grand challenge, two, four, six, five, and I still need to, um, I still need to do the, uh, the envelope, the sinking, uh, blue, you guys, I'm having a brain fart. We still have to do our cash stuffing, but that'll be in a separate video because this is a long video as it is. So for 10 grand so far, we got $2,465 saved. Awesome. So now we have the 100 envelope challenge. So same thing. This is the only way I've been tracking it. So I'm go going to go ahead and add all these up and see how much we have in there. Okay guys, so we have four, <clears throat> we have four 16 saved in our 100 envelope challenge. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull out our sinking funds. And put all these markers over here. I'm going to go ahead, guys, it's so nice having a dining table. Like I can have all my stuff all over the place. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and take out our envelopes. Oh, you guys already had here all the sinking, all the ones we're going to be stuffing here today. Um, but let's go ahead and put these aside. Let's go ahead and count what we have. So, oh, and I don't think I have vehicle. Oh no, because I changed it because my emergency fund is going to cover my vehicle emergency fund. So that is no longer an envelope. Okay, now we got clothes. Okay, so let's start with Christmas. Okay, it says we should have 165, so let's make sure we have 165 in here. Let's make sure these are all in order, yeah. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 65, 165, yep, and that's what it said it had. So let's go ahead and set this aside and just update that sheet. Now where did I put my marker? Oh, here it is. So it's 165 in here. And then next we have family. And it says we have $34 in there. Let's make sure. 10, 20, 5, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4. Is that what it said there was in there? Yep, 34. Awesome. Let's go ahead and put this away. So we have 34. Now in vehicle maintenance. Now where's my vehicle maintenance? Oh, here it is. It says we should have 160 in here. Let's make sure there's 160. 150, 60. 160. Perfect. So we have 160. And also what I love about this is that I don't have to draw, I don't have to write draw the lines myself on a different notebook because it's all, the lines are already there for me and my handwriting is not the best. Okay, and for clothes we don't have anything. And as you guys seen, if you have not seen my house tour and you have not seen my closet, 
Um, we don't spend a lot of money on clothes. We normally do not buy clothes, and we normally don't buy shoes either. Um, so there's nothing in clothes. Okay, now I have my truck insurance. It says there is 272 in there. Let's make sure there's 272. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 5, 70, 1, 2. Yep. 2, 72 is in here. 2, 72. Okay. And I have here that I have tires in alignment, but I don't know if I went ahead and just put that in vehicle maintenance. Hmm. Happened. I don't remember, you guys. That's why we're doing this. I believe that's why I did, did that, because vehicle maintenance would cover car maintenance, vehicle maintenance. Remember that she is not updated. I need to update that. These two are combined, tires and car maintenance. So that is the reason we do this. And I wish I had a raceable pin, but we don't. So let me just cross this out real quick. Remember you guys, I do not mind cro crossing stuff out. It does not bother me. And I need to put this in here. Oh, that's right. So we have this budget mom challenge, you guys, and I have not been able to keep up with this um, because I have been doing other challenges, but I did pay like $10 to be part of this challenge. But I think I'm going to stop doing the challenge because it's, I don't know, it's just, it's a lot. It's like every, it's like a weekly thing, but um, I just haven't been, I don't know, I guess I haven't been that passionate about this challenge, but this it says that I should have 122, so what I'm going to do, you guys, is this 122, I'm going to put my Christmas fund. Let's make sure there's 122 in here. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 100, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Hmm, maybe I counted that wrong. Oh, you know what, guys? Remember that missing five? It's missing again. I have no idea where that five went. Remember we said it was in the Budget Mom Challenge? Guys, it's not in here anymore. It's weird. That that $5 bill, oh my goodness, it's crazy. That $5 bill, it, it, it's just insane. It went missing again. Remember, I, I said, oh, we only have 117 in here. And I put that extra five because we counted this together and the five was in there. And it's not in there anymore, you guys. It's crazy. Let's count that again just to see if the missing five appears here and I'm miscounting. But I do not think so. Okay. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Guys, it's missing. I told you guys, it's missing. I have no idea where it's at. No idea. It's missing, you guys. Okay. That's insane to me. That's so insane. Okay. So the budget mom challenge, I'm going to put into my Christmas fund. Because I was just doing the budget mom challenge for fun. But now I'm going to put 117 in here. Uh, I don't feel like it. Uh, should I? Uh, I guess I should rearrange these. Might as well. Catching me all lazy. Five. 10, 20s. In here. Perfect. So, so that bumps up my my Christmas fun. My goal is 500. Oops, I need to put that in here. 
So we put today, I'll put the budget mom challenge. Oh my goodness, my pen. Put 117. So 165 plus 117. We got 282 in there. Perfect. Oh, so that means now I'm going to have to update this. Okay, perfect. Awesome. I'm going to put this back in here. And I'm going to go ahead and put all these back together and wrap them up. Because we have some more, um, some cash stuffing to do. All right, you guys, so we got that done. And accomplish. I'm sorry if this if you have OCD and this is bothering you, but it does not bother me. So let's go ahead and just add all these up and put the total amount here at the bottom. Okay, you guys, we also I also forgot that we have we didn't spend all our fund, all our money from so we saved up enough money for a down payment and we still and we didn't have to use it all I mean we had to use the majority of it for a down payment but we didn't have to use it all so there is seven hundred dollars now that I'm remembering we have a savings account and I'm just gonna put savings account in here a savings account and this savings account is mainly for like house things so it's in case we want to buy something for the house like for example like if we want to do yard work where you know we're putting money into savings into this specific savings account to buy things like mulch or maybe a mower or something like that so that's the amount we have in here so i'm going to go ahead and add that into here Okay, you guys, so this is the amount that we have as of now, this beginning of the month, 7329. Perfect. All right, you guys, so with that being said, we did everything that I wanted to do before we kind of started again on our budget game is we have our sinking funds down so we know what's in our envelopes and I love these sheets from Marlene and um, if you guys don't know who she is I'll link her channel below go check her out I love these sheets really help me out and then we got our trackers for our debt going and also this um, just kind of a check-in to see where we're at so far so awesome. So I got all of that and I'm just going to put all of this in my big, huge, heavy duty binder. Perfect. All right, you guys, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you in a cash stuffing video coming to you very soon. If you haven't already, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.